Yeah. <laughs> For as much as I said, no, 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 I'm not going to do the rest chakra. Uh, of course I am. In light of the fall I had, this wrist is kind of wonky and there's a bone that's out of joint. So, of course, I want to look at that to see what I can do to help heal it. Now, I've not been able to find anything about the wrist chakra, so it looks like I'm channeling information for y'all. Whee! <laughs> um, yeah, it feels like the wrist is one of the way stations from the shoulder and um, the palm, of course, that makes kind of obvious sense because well it's it's a long it's along the arm so yeah I guess y'all get to see me process this <sighs> lucky you so when your hand chakras are blocked creativity is blocked you're not able to do the things that bring you joy. Um, <clears throat> and that's for whatever reason. You know, I don't draw because at eight I said, no, I can't do that. And so that blocked the, the chakras. And I've been able to unblock my hand chakras through working with Reiki and other energy modalities. Um, never had that confidence, though, to, to go and do it, that kind of drawing artistically. Okay, got that. We worked on the shoulders, and you know when I did the shoulder blade chakras, that it shifted a whole lot of the energy there to the point where my massage therapist noted it. So we've looked at the elbow, because it's this thing, and now looking at the wrist, a healthy wrist allows for more expression, a lot more mobility, um... And flexibility. And emotionally, I feel... Yeah, because so, folks who talk with their hands, they, they use their hands a lot, as you can see I do. And it's also been uh, a means by which I do some of my light language. So what happened here was that I landed on my... I used my hands to stop my fall. Okay? And so... I did it over here on the side so it wasn't full on. So my body was kind of protecting me. There are other ways it could have and that would have resulted in other problems. So I'm going to um, like sit here and, and send energy during the light language to this wrist to help it heal so that I can continue to express myself in ways that are kind and loving, particularly to myself. Um, and I know for me, I need to let go of any sort of grumble, grumble, bitch, bitch, moan, moan sort of thing about this hurting because that's not helping it heal. So this is more than just the chakra. This is about healing in general when you have some sort of boo-boo on you. Don't yell at yourself for doing it. And don't even say, well, it could have been worse because it, it. It happened the way it happened. Okay. So we're going to light language. And you know what? I'm asking for your help here. If we could all like sit here and focus on the healing of my wrist, I may even like have this set up sooner. No. Um, if we could all focus on healing ourselves in that way without judgment and, and to um, allow ourselves, give ourselves that permission to express ourselves more um, fluidly. Yeah. So, yeah, hold on to a part of your body that you sense is in need of healing. Emotional healing. And let's do this. You can feel the energy flow through you. And if you can feel it flow through your hands, 
that energy, that healing energy flow through your hands. Excellent. There you go. send this energy through to help us regain alignment with our higher purpose and our physical and our emotional. I did release some emotions during this. My eyes are beginning to water. So I thank you for holding space for us, for me, and for yourself. Thank you. I love you.